If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there. Que pasa to the pack? It's pack here. Today's video is very, very simple. I'm going into Twitter as I always do whenever there's a roster update drop, and I'm covering all the major topics of what you guys think is right and wrong about the newest roster update. I'm gonna cover that in today's video. Before the video starts, hey, join the pack and subscribe. That would be clutch of you. If you like any kind of content when it comes to ratings, rosters, anything like that, I make it all the time. So please join up and leave a like on the video because it helps videos grow fast and that's what I would like for you to do and help me out, okay? So, first things first, we have Asensi20. He goes on Twitter and he says, you downgraded Clay for playing 20 minutes a game. You downgraded Pool, and all-star starter Wiggins is still a 83. WYF. Am I old? What does WYF mean? Where are you from? I don't think that's right. Am I just old? Do I not get what? Never mind. So I'll, I'll address the big one. Clay Thompson. I have said, I have said, I have said, if a player comes back from injury, you can't give them a rating change after one or two weeks of coming back. It takes time. Like when a player is injured and he comes back for the first time, it's going to take a little bit to get used to playing basketball again, especially when Clay Thompson, who took two years off, well, didn't take two years off. You know what I mean? So Clay Thompson, right, is obviously going to struggle the first week or two, which he was. So 2K downgraded him by one. And I said, y'all cannot do that to a man. Give him like two months and then start giving him rating changes. And after, wow, it's only been a month. And in 24 minutes per game, he's averaging 16 points efficiently. How can you get mad at Clay Thompson for that? That's perfect. And he plays good defense as you already know he does. So how can you get mad at Clay Thompson? If anything, he should have been left alone rating wise for sure. Do not touch his rating. That's disrespectful 100%. Now for Poole, I think Poole should have just been left alone as well. I mean, he's still the same good player he's been all season. It's just that now that you've added Clay Thompson, his role is going to be diminished, but he's still good. So he shouldn't have changed rating wise. And Wiggins, okay, I'm going to keep it real. He should probably stay at an 83. It, listen, I'm not saying that that's like accurate. Maybe an 84. He is a good defender, but he's the lowest rating starter in all-star history because it was kind of a weird situation. It's not really like 2K's fault there. Okay. Wait, hold up. Time to talk about the sponsor real quick. So I've partnered up with Mobile One and Gen G to talk about the tune-up with you guys. So this is for competitive and casual 2K fans to have a chance to win prizes. Let me talk about the tune-up sweepstick prizes, okay? The grand prize is a PlayStation 5. You know how hard that is to get, bro. You can put your skills to the test in a 3v3 or even a 1v1 tournament to win some cash, okay? So the tune-up tournament prizes include the 3v3 tournament, which you get first place $2,000, and then in the 1v1 tournament, First place also gets $2,000. A lot of chances to win some money. It's very, very clutch. So visit the tuneup.gg right now to enter and win. You can see all the links in the description below. Go check it out. Now this next person is RJ Barrett being way too low. So here we go, NBA 2K posts this picture of RJ Barrett going plus one to an 83 overall. And you have Jukebox triple three W says, should be an 85, but W. Now, let me explain to you why I think he's right and maybe even a little higher. So ever since the start of the new year or the last 10 games, RJ Barrett has been the leading scorer for the New York Knicks with 21.5 points per game on pretty solid efficiency for the most part. The three point percentage is a little low, but overall pretty solid. This is why that's happening. The New York Knicks have decided to give RJ Barrett the leading score role. You know in basketball how this works. Somebody is given the chance to be the guy, right? When he turns and looks and, and asks for the ball, he gets it. Usually that was Julius Randle, but you know how Julius Randle's been struggling this season. He clearly doesn't want to play for the Knicks. At least he has that attitude. And so RJ Barrett has been given the keys to the car and he's been playing well. Now the team's still losing, but he himself has been playing well. And so I have to agree 100% with Jukebox here. I think absolutely needs to go up as the best player on the team by far, I think. Y'all are gonna be pretty mad at this one. This is about SGA. So NBA 2K, they post a picture of SGA, 87 overall, plus one for him, which is awesome, no doubt. But Drex says something that everybody is thinking. Please fix his hair. He hasn't had this hairstyle in almost two years. We all know SGA has the cornrows. He's had it for a while. Think about this, right? Uh, now, I'm not trying to call anybody out. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, right? But somebody at 2K woke up in the morning, was told to make a post about SGA, made the, made the post, took a screenshot of the photo of SGA, put it on Twitter, and didn't even check to see if the hairstyle was right, 
And even if they know the hairstyle isn't right and they upload it anyways, do you have no shame, 2K? Fix the hair before you post it on social media that the hair's wrong. Like, how could you, how do you do that? How? At least check, at least check. Now I got something for y'all just to lighten the mood. So, Cade stock is rising for Cade Cunningham to join business post this. Goes to 80 overall club, W for Cade. Dustin Shandeville gets a photo and says, Me after I successfully make one peanut butter and jelly sandwich all by myself. And it's just, it's just a picture of Cade. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why that was funny, but it was. It, just, it was so like, listen, it was so cringy, but it was a little wholesome at the same time. That it was like, it was like Adam Sandler funny, you know what I mean? Okay, the last thing I'm going to go a little deep in, and that is... Cover athletes getting hate. So the Dallas Mavericks post their picture of Luka Doncic going plus one, making him a 94 overall, which is massive. One of the better players in the NBA. Tanner Swayer says they hate their cover athlete and crying emojis. At first I was like, what do you mean? A 94 overall is really high. But then I thought back and I was like, I don't know, the cover athlete's supposed to get some exaggerated ratings. They've always given the cover athlete the benefit of the doubt rating wise always 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 and always over give them ratings you know in the last 10 games Luka Doncic has been averaging 30 points per game on a triple double he's averaging a triple double in the last 10 games on 30 points per game and they've been one of the better teams in the NBA record wise in the last 10 games the only negative thing you can say about him is that his three-point field goal percentage is low but to be fair to Luka he does create a lot of stupid shots so like his ability to create those shots is a skill whether or not he makes them on an efficient level is a different conversation, but at least he's able to create the shots and he makes at least 33% of them, right? So it's not great, but he's still a star. I think with those numbers in the last 10 games, 30 point per game triple double, that's at least, at least, and y'all aren't ready for me to say this, one of the best players in the NBA with a 96 overall rating. But then again, LeBron James is a 96, Kevin Durant's a 96, Jokic is a 96, and Beat is a 96. And then Giannis is 97. So do I have the gall to say that Luka Doncic is in the conversation with them? To be honest, I don't know if that's the wrong thing to say. It doesn't feel wrong when I think about it, right? So I think he should at the minimum be a 95 overall, just a tick below. That's what I think. I want to know your guys' opinion on all of this. So leave it in the comments below. If you like the channel, please give it a sub and I'll see you guys next time. If you want all the latest news of NBA 2K and also NBA in general, you should follow me on my Twitter account at PackHoopsYT. Not only that, I do giveaways all the time when it comes to VC, games, and also even consoles. So check it out, follow me, and see you there.